Hello, everybody. I'm here with Steph Zamorano, the miserable liberal. First, thanks for getting my name right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's only taken 20 years, but I'm finally, it, I'm finally getting it. Listen, listen. <laughs> Who was your character that I used to love? That the the cop was Detective Kent Stryker. Oh, Stryker. Stryker's here. <laughs> So we're in the green room at the at Flappers Comedy Club in Burbank. We're Can about to do tell? a Jimmy Dore show. Should have called for backup. There he is. <laughs> Should have called, called for, back, for backup. Called for backup. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, but I want to talk about what what races uh, in 2018. So it's a big. I'm asking a lot of people this. Since it's a big year. It's the midterm elections. What sort of candidates and races are you thinking about the most, or or sort of the most intrigued by who's running? Uh, well, first, I, I'm I'm in. I was thinking about uh, the Olympics when you talked about races, you know. Yeah, like, I don't know any. <laughs> I, I, I personally feel like a failure at whatever age I am when there's 17 year olds getting gold oh, medals, wow. immigrants. Oh, what a great immigrant story! I'm third generation, and I've got no story for you. Oh, her dad quit job. Her dad quit his job so he could drive okay, her nice places. Boy, so, oh, okay, ready? Here's the person. Uh, Here's the person that I'm. I challenged all our supporters yeah, to start canvassing and, and support a candidate. Like, if you have a candidate that you're crazy about, mm -hmm. go work for them. So I'm working for somebody. I'm working uh, for Allison Hartson. Oh, wow. And she is going to challenge, or she is challenging, Diane Feinstein. That's a big, that's a big, big race. We've talked about Allison before on this show. Because getting well, Diane Feinstein well, out of there well, is huge. Well, she has well, been there for 30 years. She is so corporate. She is such like, she's part of the problem in the Democratic well, Party, I think, uh, Diane Feinstein. So and what Allison, she's a, she's from what, and Wolfpack, is that correct? Mm -hmm. She was the national director of Wolfpack. And they were able to get five states to change their uh, legislation about funding of um, political races. So, so she's a mover and a shaker. I love her platform. She is uh, for single pay. She's uh, for uh, uh, fighting for the 15, uh, college tuition. She believes in education. She was a teacher herself for 10 years. Oh, so that's, that's is that what drew you to, because uh, obviously you're a teacher as well, did that draw you to her the most or what was it? I think I was mostly attracted to her. <laughs> I let my inner lesbian come out. I don't know. Can you say that? I don't know. But that, do you ever feel that way? Like when you find it like a kinship? So I met Allison, I think about three years ago. Mm -hmm. And so we would bump into her at certain events like Politicon or at the People's Summit. And uh, these are all things that I never thought I'd be that involved in, you know? So it's a whole new life. And... Um, I'm a big supporter of her, and you know it's interesting to watch the machinery of democracy not really work. Yeah, it's amazing too. I think this last year of getting more involved and doing political stuff, uh, the people at, like I met her actually at your guys' house. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's really been cool to sort of be open. I was the same way like several years ago, like oh I would never be involved in that, and now I actively am, and it actually is more intriguing to me. Than comedy, I mean, I, I like being a comedian, but like I'm 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 putting more time into this and and politics. You know, it seems like it has more of a value. Listen, Graham Elwood, I gotta tell you that the whole idea that we're politically involved. I know. <laughs> like we did shows together years ago, you know, and just like this is just another part, and we really want to encourage everybody to get involved yeah. because what are you waiting for? Yeah, and and as Steph just said, we were like activists 20 years ago. We were just jackass comedians in LA, just doing shows and going to parties, <laughs> wearing wigs, <laughs> doing wacky voices. <laughs> so uh, back Allison and Hartson if you live in uh, California and get involved in your local races you guys because it's a very uh, important and significant year and also thank you for supporting the show go to the Patreon links below Hey. Uh, thank you for watching. It look, look, everyone's in the green room. Look at Sam Tripoli. Oh, there's Arno Rompelow. There's Ron. Jimmy Dore. Jimmy Dore. To be here. Oh shit! shit. Have, you, have you ever heard about? Everybody, getting ready. Thank you for watching. And remember, we're gonna make so Gotham great again.